Hi there, it's Rachel from scrappinandhappy.blogspot.com with another Let's Get Crafty video. Now although this isn't a Christmas project, it was made specially for a, as a Christmas present. I was hired by my friend Tara to um, make this for her daughter. She loves getting mail, I think she's four. She loves getting mail and she loves Snow White. So she asked me if I could find a mailbox to, to alter. So this mailbox, and I'll post pictures of the before and after at the end of this video, was actually a Christmas mailbox that I purchased at Michael's on sale for 50% off. And I altered it to turn it into a pretty little uh, Snow White mailbox. So in order to alter it, um, what I did is the stem was all candy cane. So what I did is I went ahead and made it all um, periwinkle. And then to decorate it at the bottom, I made this um, bow. Now, I did two half bows and used my glue gun to glue either side. And what's great about wired ribbon is it just really allows you to um, fill in the gaps and it just really makes it more princess-like and sparkly. This ribbon, um, to as beautiful as it is, was on sale at Michael's. Um, it was a Christmas one. so even though this isn't a Christmas project, it worked really well um, for this project. So I'll take you back up to the top again without trying to make you too sick. So um, what I did is I took um, the measurements uh, across here and then around and I used my paper um, cutter just to trim it and then I um, attached it on with my, AT, with my ATG tape. And so you can see it just goes all Away around, all the way around to the other side. So then, um, because she loves Snow White, I don't have unfortunately the snow the cartridge. I think it's Happily Ever After with Snow White on it. So I had to go to Michaels and buy some die cuts. Now these die cuts, can you believe it? For a princess pack, was eight dollars and fifty cents. Ridiculous price for um, Snow White. I almost wish I had that cartridge because it would have made it a lot easier and cheaper probably in the long run even though I would have a little bit of an investment but anyways what I did is I took the Snow White and I used pop dots and just popped her up and I did have to use a little bit of glue gun there just to make sure that she stayed and then I used all this bling on this side just to really make it sparkle and princess like and this beautiful was a part of the um, was a part of the pack um, of princesses so I just put that there and you can see the colors all really go well nice um, the, with the with the background color, even though it's not necessarily a Disney pattern paper. Then I took my Martha Stewart doily punch and I punched this green pattern paper to put along the bottom because I guess what happened was when I rolled it over to the other side, I had a little bit of an edge going all the way across here. So I needed to make sure that that was covered just to give it a really nice, clean, even finish. Then on the back, this was the trickiest part because I had to actually cut the um, uh, paper to fit inside here. But I cut it and again attached it with my ATG tape. And then I used um, some more bling here. And these pieces all came from the uh, pack. So I did get to use all of it even though it didn't have all the princesses. And then it says thank heaven for little princesses there. So um, that went on that side. And then because... Um, um, her daughter's name is Hunter and it's not one of those names that you can find on pencils and all those other kinds of things that commonly um, I wanted to really put her name on it so I cut these letters out with the storybook cartridge at two and a half inches I believe or maybe it was two, two inches and I cut it out with yellow and then I got a Xyron recently so I put it through my Xyron with the letters face down and what I ended up doing was glittering them and my oh my why didn't I get the Xyron sooner because the glitter just stays on there beautifully and then I just glued those pieces on it just sparkles it just looks so princessy I'm I'm sure she's going to absolutely love it. And then the front of the mailbox, I um, didn't have any more bling or embellishments, but I wanted to make sure that it had 
still personalized touch to it. Now I didn't paint this, I kept it red just because I didn't think the paint was gonna stick on there and I didn't want it to come off, so I thought it would just look nicer leaving it red. So what I did is I cut this crown out using the Sweet Treats cartridge and then I um, used stickles to cover the, the yellow and then I used the same technique for the H. This time with purple, although the color's not coming up very well in the video here, but I used my Xyron, put the H face down in the Xyron, and then covered it with purple glitter for the first name of her initial. And then, this is what the pack looked like of just all the pieces. Um, I just put in the Ziploc bag. And then, because I was just having so much fun with the princess theme and I needed a pick-me-up, I made it, I uh, made it, I made these four... Um, crown cards um, using the sweet treats in my design studio and then the envelopes I just um, embossed as well and then I stamped her name on the envelopes just to make it a little more personal. My girlfriend didn't ask me to do that but she's such a good friend of mine that I thought it'd be a nice little treat to for her daughter who loves receiving mail and probably sending it as well that she'd like that. But this project um, was a lot of fun to make once I found Snow White, but believe me Snow White if she is a favorite princess of Somebody a special girl little girl in your life Good luck with finding it I would strongly suggest getting the happily ever after cartridge so that you can have all the different cuts because it was really hard to find her But I'm really happy with the results. I can't wait to see my friend Tara's face when she sees it and then I can't wait to see pictures of her daughter on Christmas morning when she receives this as a gift Thank you so much for um, watching this video and I hope it inspires you with one of your own crafty projects. Take care and have a great day.